Next, I want to remove the intake manifold. So I'm just going to start at the back here, looking for any um, fasteners. So we've got this nice big um, bracket that comes down from the cylinder head here. So we'll rip that one off. Going from the back side here, we've got a uh, vent. So let's just undo it there. See if we can just separate that. Okay, it just doesn't want to come free off the bottom. Um, I'm not going to spend too long with it if I can just literally take it off from the top. So much easier. And so I don't forget, we'll just put this clamp straight back on. You know, on the side here, I have a 12 mil that just secures the throttle body in place. Okay, so along the top here, we have a series of 10 mil uh, bolts. And some bolts in the front. We can see it's already popped loose. With that, we should be able to, I'll pull those right out of the way. That we should be able to lift that up and off the engine. Now I can easily access the rear coils. Just pop the little locking bracket out so we can just pop the plug off and take out the coils. injector wiring. Now looking directly from above here, we've got a couple of um, hex fasteners here. Um, and I think there's a nut on that side, um, but I'm gonna leave my fuel rail connected to this little intake manifold. I'm pretty sure I can fit my um, tools down in there and get those off with this fuel rail in place. Now I've kind of got a long I've got a long six mil hex, so I should be able to fit that down. Looks like I'm gonna be pretty lucky, at least on this side. With those out, this little intake and the fuel rail should all come out together. Notice also on this intake here, um, there's just like a small plastic or rubber seal in around um, the top of the bolt. Um, now, I don't know if that's something that I'll get in a new kit when I go to replace it, or whether it's just something I wanna make sure that it's there. I guess it's just there for some extra sealing, perhaps. With that intake removed, we can now see this um, metal cooling hose here. Um, it's got a 10 mil fastener just off on the side here. Oops, we've dropped it into the valley. So with that 10 mil bolt removed, um, this is now loose, but we need to pull it out of this end here. Um, they're usually in pretty tight. So I'm just gonna gently put something in here just to see if I can lever it and just give it a bit of oomph. It's just sitting in on a um, on an O-ring there. A bit more oil evident in here. So with the coolant pipe here now removed, we can see a fair build up of oil in here. Um, this is the mysterious oil leaks that people are often chasing. There is an oil pressure sender here. Um, it's typically not that. You've got your variable valve solenoids up in here. Um, they don't usually leak. You sometimes can have some oil that's been spilt when people have done an oil change, um, but most likely it is weeping up in between the block and the cylinder head. Let's keep going on with this. Just gonna zip these spark plugs out. They're just gonna make it easier when I turn the engine over. Oh, that sounds funny. I think there must be something stuck down in there. 
just a bit of grit. Let's use this to zip them out with some speed. We'll just do the same on the back cylinders. And the back three all look fine. I'm not expecting any particular issues with these. Um, they're certainly not new, but um, look like they're doing a good job. Now they all look fine. I'd done a combustion check on this anyway, so there was no actual leaking of um, any sort of CO2 into the cooling system, so therefore no coolant should have been getting into the cylinders. Um, so everything looks like the right color there. Let's get this first valve cover off. Now again, it's the 10 mils. Now these, these bolts appear to all be the same so far, makes it easy. I'm just going to use a very small pry bar and just see if I can get underneath one of the corners and just, there we go, just loosen it up a little bit. Obviously never been off before, so It wants to hold itself on. Okay, it's nice and clean under there, so that's a, um, a really good start. Look, it is kind of um, tarnished and stuff under here, but um, look, that's actually looking nice and clean. Sometimes you pull them out and they're filled with sludge and whatever. So pretty happy to see that. We'll now duck around and do the rear. Um, exact same thing. Just got some wiring in the way, that's all. Again, double check we've got all of the bolts. And again, I'm just gonna gently pry it up in just a few key locations. Free, we'll get that off. As you'd expect, this side's nice and clean as well, so I'm happy with that. 